this woman, the Israelite nation, when they are persecuted through the great tribulation, which will be unbearable, she will be given two wings of, an, of a great eagle. The wings of the eagle represents the power of God. God will sustain you in your most difficult times of your life. When you have fallen so deep and so far, God will always give you the strength to come back, to stand back on your feet and come back to Him. God will always sustain you no matter how many times you fall and how many times you've drifted away. God is always there for you, my dear friend. But you need to be genuine and come back to Him and say, sorry, Lord, for what I have done. So she was given a great, two wings of a great eagle, the power of God, that she might fly into the wilderness to her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time. We see time, times, and half, half a time is three and a half. Three and a half is the three and a half years out of the seven years, which is the last week, according to Prophet Daniel. It's the last week, which is the great tribulation. The great tribulation, the Lord, out of mercy, divided it into two parts. The first one, the beginning of the pain, but the last one is the heart of the pain, which is the last three and a half years of unbearable suffering because Satan has been cast onto the earth and he will devour people they have never seen done ever before. The lockdowns and the corona, whatever COVID that took place since 2020 will be like a holiday compared to what's happening later on. It'll be like, like a walk in a park. It'll be like a holiday. When the great tribulation comes, no one will ever be able to withstand the immensity of the suffering and the persecution of this dragon, Satan, towards humanity. But the Lord will give two wings of a great, of a great eagle. He will give power to the woman. Who is the woman? The Israelite nation, the Jewish people. He will give them power in the midst of their, their suffering because He loves them like He loves everyone else. No one is special in the eyes of God because everyone is special. So part of humanity is the Israelite nation. He loved them from the beginning. He will love them till the end. He will love them till the end. So don't ever be upset with any Jewish person. You need to love everyone. That's the Lord. It's the Lord commandment. Love everyone. So we need to pray for our beloved Jewish people. And we need to love them no matter what happened or happens later on. He will bribe them. He, Satan will try to bribe the Israelite nation not to go back to Jesus Christ. He will give them a lot of gifts. He will tempt them with glories. Just don't walk away from me. Don't go back to God. Because till now, they are in denial of the Messiah's coming, first coming. But in the great tribulation, they will no longer be in denial. They will come back and repent, accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and God and Savior to their own souls. A lot of Jewish people will become Christian will, will accept Jesus as their Lord and God. And they will confess that we have denied your first coming. But today, in the midst of our hardships and suffering, we confess that you have come before and you are coming now to save and deliver your own people. They will accept him when Christ crushes them through this great tribulation. Because there is no other way for the Israelite people to come back to Jesus until he really crushes them and corners them where they will wave the white flag in surrendering to the almighty Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The 21st century will not finish unless this world is punished heavily by God. 
heavily. May the Lord have mercy.